More now on the decision by the top prosecutor in Cook County not to seek re-election. Kim Fox was first elected nearly six and a half years ago with a mandate. She ousted an incumbent in a primary and then captured 72% of the vote in the general election. We have a look back at Fox's tumultuous tenure, which took a different approach to the criminal justice system. This race is not so much just about saying goodbye. It's about turning the page. And I understand the excitement. I understand the excitement, but let us not get lost in the gravity of the work that is ahead of us. From day one, Kim Fox declared she would be different. The issue of criminal justice and criminal justice reform is one of the biggest civil rights issues of our day. She grew up in Cabrini Green and became the first African American woman to become Cook County's top prosecutor. This is a day where we have to reckon with the history of our system. At times, Fox seemed more passionate about being the public face of the wrongly accused than the tough on crime prosecutors Chicagoans had elected in years past. I also knew that for people who had lost faith in our justice system, that there was a responsibility to right the wrongs of the past. And particularly people who live in neighborhoods that are impacted by violence, who don't trust the system because they've seen it go so far awry. Fox's office trumpets the fact her team has overturned convictions in 175 cases, expunged marijuana convictions, been a leader in bond reform, in many cases eliminating cash bail, and raising the threshold for felony retail theft cases to $1,000. Fox argues her office can best use its resources by going after violent criminals rather than prosecuting lower level crimes. At times, it put her at odds with the mayor, aldermen, and police, especially when they felt people terrorizing communities were let off the hook. What is the impact of a failure to charge anything on a case like this? Lawlessness is the impact. Lawlessness. I, I agree with you. We should pursue the charges that we have and let jurors and judges uh, adjudicate justice. We cannot send a message that it's okay and you get a pass that you shoot up a residence in broad daylight captured on film and no consequences will happen for you. In 2020, after the death of George Floyd, when street protests turned to riots and looting, <laughs> Fox prosecuted those who committed crimes, but again focused her public comments on the larger issue of injustice. What we have seen in this country are broken hearts and anger at the continual cycle that we have seen of the casual acceptance of systemic racism in this country. The intersection of race and justice is a common theme for Kim Fox. It was apparent again in her office's high-profile bungling of the Jussie Smollett case, in which the actor faked a hate crime. Fox's office dropped the charges without securing an admission of guilt, only to have Smollett walk out of the courtroom and claim his innocence. I've been truthful and consistent on every single level since day one. I would not be my mother's son if I was capable of one drop of what I was accused of. Rather than take responsibility for the misstep, Fox returned to the issue of race. And when I look across the landscape of when I have seen prosecutorial authority checked, um, it is largely black women. For the last three years, there's been this deliberate attempt to upend um, the decision that my office made. And it feels unprecedented and it feels personal. Racist? I mean, I think I leave it to the people of Cook County to look at our criminal justice system. Kim Fox had never held elected office before she won the state's attorney's job in 2016. Four years later, despite criticism of how she ran the office, Fox still beat her closest Democratic primary opponent by nearly 20 points.